We do have some spotty thunder showers around the coverage area over the last 10 to 15 minutes has gone up just a little bit. We're going to do a couple of zooms here on the radar. We're going to start by going into our northeasternmost counties areas near Massey's Mill in Nelson County, right along 56 Highway 151, dealing with some very heavy rain. Also some heavy rain being reported in between Natural Bridge and Glasgow, actually right over Glasgow as we speak. And then we've got another cell that is a little farther north into Rockbridge County uh, areas in and around. Uh, Looks like Wide Gap Road, Blacks Creek Road, uh, areas in and around Bird Forest Road. Uh, I want to show you that this is getting closer and closer to Lexington. Furs Mill Road right now seeing some moderate rain. Lexington itself seeing some light to moderate rain, but this cell is heading towards you folks at Lexington. It looks like you're going to start to see the rain become heavier in Lexington over the next probably 20 minutes or so. Now, as we go farther down to the south, we also have some heavier downpours right along the Floyd Franklin County line, also along the Roanoke, Bedford and Botetourt County line. We're going to zoom in to this cell and show you that it's raining very heavily right now around King Street, West Rotan Road near William Bird High School along 221, very close to Blue Ridge areas and around Bonsack dealing with some very heavy rain as we speak. All this, by the way, moving east northeast anywhere between 10 and 25 miles per hour. Going to continue to have the chance for a few more showers and or a few more thunderstorms from now throughout the course of the evening and a storm or two could pack a little bit of a punch with some wind and also some hail, not to mention thunder, lightning and heavy rain. Things will start to calm down after midnight tonight after which we're going to have some fog developing. Then as we head into Friday, Friday is going to start out partly to at times mostly sunny. Then as we head into the afternoon, a stray shower or thunder shower can't be ruled out in areas say along and to the east of Interstate 81 between 2 o'clock and roughly 8 p.m. After that, we're going to start to see conditions dry out and a little more fog will form for us here as we head into Friday night. Looking ahead to race weekend in Bristol, Saturday 89, Sunday 90. Mainly sunny and hot on Saturday. On Sunday, we're looking partly sunny with a stray thunder shower or two later in the day. Of course, it's America's night race. The race starts Saturday evening, and at that point in time, temperatures will likely hover around the 80 degree mark. A wetter pattern is likely going to set up for us here next week, especially as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Going to have a low pressure system, which will mean a steady stream of golf moisture, which means more rounds of scattered showers and thunderstorms. These rain showers and storms over the last two weeks have been hit or miss, meaning some of you have gotten very wet and others are saying, where's my rain? There might be a better chance for you folks who are saying, where's my rain to pick up on some rain as we head into next week. Temperatures stand 83 in Withville, 87 in Roanoke, also in Danville, 75 in Hot Springs. It's going to be a summertime sizzle for us this weekend as a jet stream is going to lift to the north. We're going to be humid and we're going to be very, very hot. Uh, looks like the winds are going to come either out of the west, southwest or out of the south. And that just means that we're just going to be scorching hot here on Saturday and Sunday. 93 Saturday, 96 on Sunday. And oh, by the way, with humidity around, we could be dealing with heat indices closer to 100 degrees on Sunday in spots. 91 Monday, better chances for some pop-up thunder showers. There's that chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms Tuesday and Wednesday with a large coverage area, upper 80s. And we may actually cool down a tad by late next week.